Hi, my name's Tim. I'm on the Papercut support team here. And in this short video, we're just going to run through doing a secondary server installation on a Mac. So just to explain the setup that I've got here at the moment, um, my primary application server is actually a Windows 10 machine. Um, so we've got a few printers set up on that already. Um, we're also running the application server on there. Um, you can see we're running actually Papercut MF but this will be exactly the same for Papercut NG as well. Um, we're running version 17.1.3 here, um, but again, very similar for, for other versions as well. On the Mac, we have a, a clean install of uh, Mac OS 10.12, and you will see we've actually got a couple of printers set up already. So the idea here, you may want to use a secondary server install um, if you have a few Mac print servers that you want to monitor the print queues on, you would install the, the secondary server on those. Um, or, for example, you might have a, a Mac workstation um, that has to print directly to the printers for some reason. So if you want to monitor those print queues, then you'd also land up doing a, a secondary server install there too. So on the Papercut side, um, if you go into the Papercut app server and take a look at the printers, um, you'll actually see these three local printers that we have here um, will be the ones showing up in the Papercut app server currently. Um, on the secondary server, we have a couple of printers set up already um, that we will want to monitor, and we'll actually add a, a final printer as well to that. So because this is the, the actual Mac server. Um, we want to do this through HP Jet Direct Socket for the protocol. Um, so I'm going to set up my final printer, so 10.1.10.114. .10 um, we're going to call this printer Comet. And this is location in Dogwoods. I'm going to say add. Does have a duplex printing unit. So that's our final printer all set up there. So at this point, we're looking to install the secondary. We have the app server already installed. It's super important to make sure that you install um, the same version um, of secondary server as you do have already running for the, the app server. So here, ideally, you want to install 17.1.3. Um, as long as it's either matching the app server or it's below the app server, that should be fine. Um, you definitely don't want to be running like version 16 on the app server and then try and install version 17 of the secondary server. Um, definitely see some issues with that. So we'll head over to, so if, if you're looking for the download itself, um, you can, if you're using MF, um, have a chat to your reseller or authorized solution center. Um, if you're using NG, then head over to the, the download page on papercut.com. Um, otherwise, if you have a specific version that you're after as well, you can always take a look at um, the old versions page. So if you want to download past old versions, you'll be able to download those there as well. So you would pick the Mac download. So in this case, I've, I've cheated, and um, we actually have in the downloads folder the, the latest um, setup DMG. So we're going to go ahead and install this now. So when you see the, the opening disk image, uh, you want to select the, the secondary server install, and that will take you through quick little install wizard. Type in my secret password. And it's successful there. And keep that, close out of this. So you'll see here it's actually um, opened up the print provider config file. Um, so this is just opened in text edit, and this is the main configuration file um, to do a whole bunch of stuff for the, um, the print provider, which is basically the secondary server. 
Um, in this case, it's, it's open because we need to fill out this application server address. So in order to get the, the secondary server to talk to your primary application server, um, we have to know the IP address. So let's head over into command prompt. I'm just going to do an IP config on that. So 10.1.8.66 there. So 10.1.8.66. Yep, all looking good. And then we're going to save that. And then exit from that. So now that we've actually made the change to that file, um, we do need to either restart the, the Mac itself um, or I'm going to cheat in this way just to save a little bit of time. If you head over into Applications, Pedicart, Providers, Print, Mac, um, then these debug enable and disable commands actually restart the Print Provider service. So um, I'm just going to keep it keep debugging uh, disabled. So I'm just going to rerun that, and it's going to then say, Are "You sure?" Yes, I'm going to restart the print provider. And then that will restart that print provider service and um, will kick off the discovery of printers and talking to the, the app server. Oh, it's going to press any key there. Bloop. So then, um, yeah, the, the machine name here that we're actually using. Um, you can see it's 62WW. Um, so soon we should begin to see those crop up in the app server view. So I'm going to head over into the printers tab. And you can see those, those extra three printers from the secondary have actually now shown up. Um, so if we take a look at that, that grommet one that we just added, Uh, you can see the the address of the printer there. Uh, it's hosted on 62WW, which is the secondary. Um, so yeah, it's good that it's picked up all those printers. So that's the first step. Um, if, if they don't show up for some reason, just worth sending a test job to one of those printers as well. So we'll, we'll do that now also. Um, so I head over into pipicut.com. And then let's do a test print job. Uh, we're actually going to do a test job to Sean. Doing seven pages. That's gone through. So then if we come over here, take a look at the print logs. You can see that June 20th today, so that was me printing a, a test job. Uh, it went to the Sean printer and it was the seven pages from the, the paper cut website. Um, so at that point, you can be confident that, yep, it's added the printers successfully um, and it's tracking the job successfully as well. So at that point, you should be good to go. Um, so yeah, there's a bunch of information on the, the website. Um, if you're looking to get a little bit more in-depth information about installing the secondary server, just head over to papercut.com um, and chuck in install secondary server. And that should bring up um, the KB articles and manual entries as well. So yeah, configuring secondary print servers and locally attached printers will take you to a bit more information there and then you can click on the configure a Mac secondary print server and that will show you the, the steps that we've just gone through. Thanks for watching. Bye.